So check it out, y'all. I got a little story telling to talk about a lot of y'all that are Beyonce fans. And you know, she's married to Jay-Z, the billionaire, both billionaires, first ever artists, billionaires. So me being in the high school that she went to, and she's only two years older than me, so she went there before I did, but I went there right after her. And I went the year after Rashad Lewis got drafted straight to the NBA, to the Seattle Supersonics. Rashad Lewis, straight out of high school, Elsick High School. That's the school that I went to right after he got drafted. So I knew that, but I didn't know I was going to the school that Beyonce was going to while she was on the radio the whole time. You know what I mean? Destiny's Child. So in that school, there was a lot of crazy stuff going on. So we first, when we first went there, when I first went there, I had some homeboys, one of them by the name of Steven, fam from middle school. And I had a few other middle school friends, but there was a lot of new friends. So in that school, they had just built the new junior Elsick High School. It was fresh, brand new. So I'm the first person, not the first person, but the first generation to go to that school while it was brand new. And ooh, hey, did we mess that up? Like seriously, there's times when I brought a roach up in there. I was high as hell in class. And the principal came to check everybody and even search me, but I don't want to talk about that right now. That's for another story. I could talk about that one later, but I want to get to the one where Beyonce's school is, the high school, the main one. And in Beyonce's high school, when I went there the year after the junior high school, man, so there's a lot of Mexicans, black people, and whites, but not as much. And then Asians, same amount, a little bit less. And then you got some Indians. Um, so in that school, I was messing up. I was already a bad kid. So me being a bad kid already, I'm skipping school, smoking weed with the classmates. And I'll be seeing people, when I first went there, I seen people banging on the table, you know, making the drums with the snares, with the pencil. They were banging on the table. I was like, damn, that's really talented. That was the first time I ever seen that. But I also seen somebody else rapping. There's a few of them. There was a few of them during lunchtime, the cafeteria. I don't know, they need breakfast too. But in that cafeteria, people were, you know, banging on the table and they were spinning rhymes. And this was before I started spinning rhymes. But anyways, Jimmy Boy used to go up there, skipping school. And he used to meet up my homeboy, Stephen Pham. I think they knew each other because they're both Vietnamese and I'm Chinese. So they clicked better than I did. But still, Stephen was one of my closest friends and... Whatever he do something, he'll call me up. But he started hanging out with Jimmy Boy and not invite me. So I felt like, okay, that's your new friend. Y'all go do you. I'm going to go hang out with the other homies. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay, Adrian, Frat Tone, Joe. I'm not going to say all their last names, but if you know me, you know them. Um, those were the main ones that I was hanging out with during that time. You know what I mean? But I was cool with almost everybody up there, but we would skip school, leave lunch, go smoke weed, and come back high as fuck. Sometimes we don't go back. We'll go to Trickies and shoot some pool. So this is Beyonce's high school. You know what I'm saying? There was a time where I was hanging out with a whole bunch of homies, supposedly, just a bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? Some of them were just associates, and they were trying to do a lick. And then the dumb homeboy thought of a lick, knocked those down. They knocked those down. And then the neighbors found out he got in trouble and then he snitched on everybody. So while I was in school, they called me to the principal one day and the police came to pick me up. It was like, yo, you got charged for this case. Somebody told on you. So I went to the court, wherever it was. And I had to, uh, no, I didn't go straight to the court, but I think they took me to a juvenile or something and uh, they locked me up. And then they was like, you got to go to this court. And when I went to that court day, I saw all the people that was there. And then they was like, this guy snitched on you. I'm not going to say his name, but this guy snitched on you. So we were all pissed. You know what I'm saying? We was all mad. That shit was fucked up, man. I was only like, what, 16, 17 at the time? And imagine, you in class. You in class, man. Let me tell you another story, though. You got, I went to this class. And then this kid, it's after lunch, this kid runs to the door, he's like, yo, this bitch sucking dick in the bathroom. <laughs> Excuse me for the foul language, but 
this girl sucking D in the bathroom, sucking whoever's. I'm like, well, that's just got to be a joke. And he's like, he's serious. Y'all can go to the bathroom right now in the boys' bathroom. So I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And I found out who that girl was, and it was a Hispanic girl, and she was fine. I actually walked past by her before, and I was like, damn, that girl's fine. Her name starts with a Z. I think it's Zoe, Zoe, or Zara, one of those. But she had black, long black hair. She looked exotic, bad, to the point where I was like, man, I'll never get her. Remember that? I said... When I was walking past by her, man, I'll never get her. So, anyways, that was the story, right? So, they told us who it was. The homeboy was like, yo, that's that girl that was sucking that D in the bathroom. So, I was like, oh, that's that girl. But two years later, bro, I'm at the pool hall. We're shooting it. I'm kicking it with the homies. Some of the Southeast Asian homeboys came through. Um, like Pat, Kit. Uh, there was this one with the glasses. I think he drove a Honda Civic. A nice one souped up one and she was there at the pool hall so i'm like hey i remember you but she didn't know that i know and think of that of her so i don't even have proof it's her but in the back of my head i was like hey that's that girl that was known to have sucked d in the restroom the boys bathroom but i didn't mention that i was just like hey what's up and she just gave me the smiles whatever we got cool actually we became friends i had her number on my phone because she was dating the other dude but I was friends with her because I was just like, yo, we from the same school. I do music, this and that. So we just became cool friends. And I invited her to my birthday party one night where I got arrested again because I went down for a whole bunch of people. Same dude that snitched on me and everybody else. Supposedly, he heard the word at the pool hall, Trickies, that I had a birthday party, that there was a birthday party and he didn't know it was mine. So he popped up with some of his friends with the goddamn police behind him, walking him. Like, why? It was too loud. There was just way too many people at the hotel. There was about 15, 20 people at the hotel. And it was getting more packed. And we smoked weed in the bathroom. So, I, I don't want to get to that part. I think I told, talked about that part. But she was there. She was on some ecstasy rolling. That shit was funny as fuck. Because when she popped it, it was like when she first came. But when the police was there, that's when she was like... She started feeling it. I was like, oh, I feel bad for her. And the police was like, hey, if anybody don't admit this weed that they found in the bathroom that we were smoking in the toilet, we were going to flush it, but nobody flushed it. He was like, hey, if nobody admits to it, all y'all going to jail, whoever's old enough, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, that's fucked up. It's my birthday party. So... Ain't nobody was raising their hand. I was like, so I raised my hand. I was like, fuck it. It's my birthday. I don't want nobody else to go to jail on my birthday. And then everybody looked at me like, oh, shoot. The birthday boy just went down for everybody. Why would I snitch on anybody? I didn't. I took falls for people. You know what I'm saying? I took the blame. I went to jail that night. You know what I'm saying? Something, they bailed me out. The homeboys, they was like, yo, we're going to bail you out. You know what I'm saying? So that was cool. I did something for them to date something for me. But I sacrificed my enjoyment, my birthday party, to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of person I am. In Elsick High School, where Beyonce went to, I learned how to screw and chop, too. The Mexican homeboy, he knew a girl that I was I had a crush with named Mercedes. Her name was Mercedes, the first girl I ever dated was in that school, Beyonce's high school. Man, this is crazy. When I look back to it, I'm like, I'm rapping, I'm doing music. People look at me as an Asian artist, and I'm like, man, I come from that. That's the area. That's why I want to tell the story, because that's where I come from. That's where the music came from. I started screwing and chopping because of somebody, a student from that school that skipped school and came to my house. I didn't even invite him. He came with my homeboy, but I knew him. I didn't even tell him to get on my computer to download a program and teach me how to chop and screw. He automatically just went to my computer, downloaded the program without me knowing. He just said, hey, yo, come here, come on, come on. Let me show you something. Got the mouse and started chopping. He grabbed the mouse and started chopping. You know, I had to repeat that, man, because I didn't say it too well. But you know what I'm saying, man? And I started rapping because of another white homeboy that was saying, yo, you around this music all the time. His name is Charlie O. At the time, Lil Crazy. He was like, yo, why don't you rap? You're around the screw shit. You're around, you do this every single day. Why don't you try rapping? And from then on, it took off. So that's why I blame Elsick High School because the things that happened there, the people there, that's the energy that's in me right now. You know what I'm saying? The hustle, I, my first hustle was selling lollipops in class to the Mexican girls, you know what I'm saying? 25 cents a piece. At the dollar store, you could buy 12 of them and you, four for a dollar. 
Come on. You made two dollars profit, and back then, at that time, that was a lot of money. Shit. Two, three dollars. You was putting up five on the weekend on the weed. I'm only 16 years old. 17, 18. Around that time. 17, 16. So I hope y'all, you know, like the story, but that's what was going down in Beyonce's high school. That's why she probably dropped out. Cause I dropped out too. She dropped out and went to homeschool. I dropped out and went to Parkview Baptist Homeschool. And remember, I never knew Beyonce did any of this till 10 years later when I was with my ex in Miami and we was uh, watching MTV. So that's crazy, man. I just, I believe in like signs and me being an artist and seeing how popular she is today. I'm gonna take that energy that was blessed to me around where she was at because that's what made her too. She took classes for vocals, you know what I mean? So I never took classes for vocals. That's why it's a miracle. I went to ALC. They sent me to ALC after I went to jail. They're like, yo, you're going to A-Leaf Learning Center where all the bad kids are. There was like three Asians up in there. But I'm just telling y'all, man, when you listen to me rap and you want to compare me and judge me to China Mac, Jin the MC, Jimmy Boy. So Jimmy Boy's from the hood where I'm at. So I see that. I don't complain about him. I know how he is. That's how he is. You know what I'm saying? But... If you look at me, you don't know me. That's why I'm telling you this. That's where I'm coming from. All right, 2001, Elsick High School. Rashad Lewis, Beyonce, you know, and now it's me. So I hope y'all enjoy the stories. If you want to know more, ask more questions, leave a comment below. Much love to y'all for coming this far, man. Screw vote. Don't get screwed over, all right? Peace.